and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so here i have in linux distro which is made especially for oh this is a terrible size but anyways which is made especially for anime lovers it is um, discontinued this specific version this is uh, mangaka moe if i'm correct it's a 32-bit but discontinued version of the released manga, manga slash anime distro the reason i wanted to try this is because if you have a slow pc which is quite old has 32 bits you know has two gigs of ram i wanted to see if you guys can run this now this runs fine it's i gave it just underneath two gigs of ram i highly recommend if you have two gigs of ram then this is fine but there's reasons why i wouldn't recommend this specifically to you even if you're an anime lover but first let's first check out how the whole thing looks you can create a folder create a launcher create a document pretty basic stuff clean up change desktop background um i did see quite a few beautiful backgrounds here before so here are all the backgrounds now as you can see there are definitely some beautiful anime backgrounds which we can definitely maybe use depending on what your preference is you can decide what should be in the background whether it should just be colors an actual just background it's up to you i kind of like my romance so i'll do that then you have your theme you now you can go via contrast dark theme i believe Whatever fits your boat, I prefer the one I have installed right now. You can change the font to something more anime if that's what you want. You can change the visual effects, like how does it look, does it look beautiful. So I am running this in a virtual machine. I could always run it on my uh, actual desktop. The problem is this distro is so old okay this distro is so old that if you go into the terminal and you go sudo apt get update the password for this specific version is mangaka which is i don't know why but in some it is the distro name which is either moe or cho or whatever like that and in some distros like this moe version specifically it is called mangaka now as you can see it is so old and because it's discontinued these sources these respiratories i believe that's what they call um, cannot be found and it stays at 99% for the rest of time now i can't install any sort of recording software for example sudo apt get install and kazam because if even if i were to try and install this it would get an error because I could not find the package kazam which is understandable but if you try and find any other package that you might want to install you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to install it but anyways other than that then you have your monitoring part where you can see how's everything running as you can see it's using 300 megabytes of ram of the just underneath two gigs of ram i gave it running fairly smooth using a lot of cpu power nothing really special here now you can it has a very 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 old um, applications in here for example i believe chrome would look super old because it is extreme yeah it's not even fitting the screen right Ooh, okay 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, so not really the perfect distro to do your daily things on. Uh, one thing I do like about this distro that other distros doesn't don't seem to have anymore is this clock. Which is just a Japanese clock telling you what the time is. I just like how it looks. Anyways, let's see what else is there. And applications, there are accessories such as calculator, disk usage, G edit, pretty decent and simple stuff. Hey, there's even a virtual box. Very interesting. Uh, calculator isn't very anime ish, which is unfortunate. Then there are games. Hey, there's a Sonic game. It's Rain Pie. I don't think that's a game, or it could be a visual novel type game. So okay, fair enough. Um, this game sucks. I'm not going even going to try and open that. Let's try and open Sonic. Just see to see how it looks, how it works. Now, well, don't worry that you're not hearing any noise. Neither am I. So, before we continue there, I also want to just point out that this Linux distro also has a few Easter eggs for in case you are thinking of maybe getting it. In pictures, there is a manga called Ubuntu, which I found pretty cute when I read it, or at least the first one. And then there's photos which has nothing in it but the manga is nice and um, I can actually show you guys oh sorry wrong one let's go here view we change that to there we go all right so I do have it right here if I'm not mistaken So these are basically all of the Easter eggs I found. Uh, this one is just a, a song. This is about Miku, and this is a Bunchu. Now I really feel like this was going one step further in, uh, you know, just showing what your distro gives your users. All right, so here it is. So um, this you read from here. To here not usually from right to left this one you have to go from left to right so yeah it's just a, a cute story of these girls in a I think Linux distro club if I'm not mistaken trying to install Ubuntu pretty cute highly recommend you um, read that if you do install the distro I have no I'm not allowed, as far as I know, to actually distribute it, so I cannot do that for you. Alright, but here we're back. So that's in pictures, and then if you go into videos, you'll find the one of Miku. You know, pretty average things. This distro shouldn't be your daily, like, distro you use. You shouldn't want to use this as something you're going to be sticking with for years because this distro is old and it is not supported anymore it doesn't get any updates it doesn't get bug fixes doesn't get performance improvements it is even though it's only using about 300 megabytes of ram when i use it on my desktop as an actual operating system not as a just a virtual drive it still runs sluggish so this isn't the type of thing you'd want to use your every for your everyday life but if you're interested in just checking it out I would recommend it because it is very interesting it has very unique things for example just that the images are unique it's just very very slow and it's not really specifically useful 
So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick view of this before I go to the newer one, which I'll be doing next time. This is just to show you in the difference between what it used to be between what it's now. And this is what it used to be. It used to be this, I think this is the third one that came out. It used to be this. It's As back then, this wouldn't have been a bad setup at all. This would have been pretty nice, pretty decent to work with, pretty fast for that time, you know, pretty friendly with your RAM, all of that. But today it's not. So we're going to check out the latest one and see if that is worth anything. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.